Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Game Discovery, the series where we take a look at new and upcoming games. This time around, I want to show you Planet Coaster, a game that's been long awaited by many of you. And it's finally here, it just came out about two days ago at the time of uh, this recording, this uh, past Tuesday to be more precise in early access so we're still a long ways down for this game to be released they're saying that it might be scheduled for last quarter of 2016 uh, i think i heard somewhere there around october but don't quote me on that and uh, i was lucky enough to get uh, uh, an early access code from the developers themselves and i've been playing it ever since uh, they gave me that access and man i just just couldn't be happier about this game the, the the possibilities that this game brings to the table is it's really hard to describe I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to show you all the things that you can do and the insane level of customization customization sorry and detail that you can add is just beyond uh, anything that I've seen before you're gonna be able to do things like this terraforming controls are insane if you haven't seen uh, the development diaries I highly suggest you go check those out because they do demo the terraforming controls I'm gonna include the link to those in the description of this video so it's easier for you to find them and uh, yeah these are these are not props these are actual terraforming controls all these mountains around in fact let me just show you because this this has been a complaint in many of these types of games where we are all like, oh, but that's, that's a really tiny spot to build a park. Okay, let me just show you how big this actually is. Now, what if I tell you that these edges right here only represent 20% of what you are going to be able to uh, build in uh, once the game is released? Yeah. But let me show you just how powerful the terraforming tools can be. So you can see here in this map that also comes in the early access. Just look at all the different levels that you can achieve with the terraforming controls and pretty much anywhere here you can build your own rides or your own uh, scenery or you know anything that you wish to build within the realms of the game you can do it and I mean if I can position the camera properly which is uh, a bit of a difficult task because the camera controls are incredibly hard to use especially because I'm used to the controls in CD Skylines and these are completely it, completely different keys and a little bit unintuitive now that I might add but uh, hopefully that will be taken care of especially because right now you can't bind your own uh, set of keys but as you can see here I mean the 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 level of customization that you can achieve here it's truly truly amazing and really really rich uh, there's so much that you can do here. In fact, let me just show you something else that you can do with the terraforming controls. I'm sure you've seen, if you've seen videos of uh, Planet Culture before, I'm sure you've seen these examples, but let me just go back to the main menu. By the way, I'm not cutting this. This is really how fast the game switches between maps, which is really, really, really interesting. I hope that uh, actually stays uh, like that in the future. But man, check out this, uh, the major oak map. This, um, this oak this tree right here is actually all terraform and it has tiny little lights for decoration and if this is not beautiful uh if this is not beautiful i don't know what is really and uh yeah this is another empty map that you can uh use to to start your own uh, your own park let me just show you one more that's uh, actually one of my favorites and if i can find i think it's one of these uh this one just wanted to click really fast to not show you. Check out this. This massive golem statue. This this is all terraformed. You can build roller coasters underneath this thing. I mean, seriously, how crazy is this? I was I wasn't expecting this to be this amazing, but it, it totally is. And uh, just yeah. I am I am without words. Uh, as you can see here, I started with a path that I created myself off camera. It doesn't have uh, too many things. It has a few trees uh, here and there and, and some light fixtures across uh, the main path. And uh, I even added different textures for the paths to the side. As you can see here, we have uh, all these patterns to choose from at this point. We also have the cues that we're going to look in detail in just a second. But let me just uh, go ahead and, and try to put down our first ride. So you can see here, we have some uh, disabled 
old menus that are you know definitely not unlocked yet. Uh, hopefully, they will be become available as uh, the releases of this uh, game uh, progresses. But for now. The one thing that you can do is uh, enable coasters. Right now, I have it enabled because I, I did that before. But if you go into any of these uh, menus that are already uh, ready to be open, you can go to the search box and type under construction, press enter, and that will enable roller coasters. Now, let's put down our first ride. I think I'm going to start with a pirate ship. I think it's called the, yeah, called the Victory. And uh, we can position it anywhere we want. Uh, by holding the Z key, you can basically rotate it. And if you turn on rotation snapping, well, it will snap to whatever angle you define here. In this case, I'm not going to do that. But I want to have this facing uh, this way and just be sitting right here in the corner. Perfect. Now, we need to put an entrance. And I want to put the entrance back here. And we also need to put the exit. I think I want to put the exit right in front of here. And let's see, we need to add the queue to entrance. And this will show you how the pathing uh, building uh, looks like. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't really, I don't really like how this works. You, you basically have to set up the length that you want. In this case, it's one. But let me just show you what it looks like if you set it to five. And it creates a path this long. You can also set it to snap to an angle. This is actually really, really useful. We're going to use that. And you can also change the width of it. So in this case, it's definitely thicker. And it goes, uh, for cues, it goes all the way up to 4 meters. But if you have paths, I think it goes all the way up to 10 meters, which I think is this one right here. Uh, let me bring this back to maybe 3. I think it's a default. And we're definitely going to use 1 instead of 5 for the length. And we're just going to click one by one. And this is uh, one of the things that that uh, that I really don't like. The fact that you need to click one by one and not being a, you're not able to just click and drag. At the same time, uh, when you get to uh, any of these segments, you see this uh, little icon that I'm trying to point at, but it will change the cursor. This uh, allows you, if you click and hold up or down, it will allow you to raise the uh, path, and it will create uh, a bridge and and basically the pillars underneath if if you need to so let me just show you real quick so you can see here we have a really detailed pillar and this goes to for roller coasters it will automatically create pillars for all of your uh, structures and they're actually uh, the developers say that these are really accurate uh, implementations of of these pillars they're not just for looks they're actually mathematically correct if they needed to sustain the weight of such a structure. And boom, that's the last segment here. So we need to add the ticket booth now, which uh, will automatically snap to the main path and to our entrance path. I think this looks okay. And we can start to ride immediately. Now we need to fix uh, this thing. We need to add an exit queue, otherwise people will be trapped inside our ride. And the cool thing is that the, the ground texture of the ride will change based on the exit path that you choose. So in this case, I think I'm gonna go with this uh, dark brown concrete, I think that is. And as you can see, that changes the uh, the, 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 the floor texture of uh, this pirate ship. So let me just add a few more a few more rides and it'll be back in just a second. Now with this three rides in place, I think it's time to add some, some decoration to this. So let's go check out the scenery menu. And as you can see here, we have a lot already to play with. I'm gonna start by putting down, let's say, uh, yeah, the Grand Galleon. It's a huge prop. It's really, really huge. Now, the cool thing is that, let me rotate it so that it fits in this spot. So you can see here now, it's kind of like, it's it, even though it's sitting on the ground, it's it, it almost looks like it's kind of floating. So what I'm going to do is hold shift and bring it down so it's kind of half synced into the ground. There we go. And that looks much, much better. In fact, you know what we should do? Let's put down some, uh, here, this bush right here will look amazing all around it so it will, it will give the sensation of water even though we can't do water just yet uh, I really hope that that comes uh, in in a future in a future update so let me bring the bushes down here and we can start putting them down over here let's just randomly rotate them too so that they look uh, less uh, repetitive so I went ahead and added a lot more uh, detail here I added some palm trees some rocks bushes and flowers 
it's all coming together really nice. I, th I still think there's a ton of work that could be done here to, to make it all look nicer. But I want to really start the game as soon as possible, let the visitors in. But before I do any of that, I want to have some shops and some toilets for them to, to use. And then we can continue with the decoration style. So let me just show you how those are built. I think uh, this spot right here is pretty good for that. So if you go into the buildings menu, uh, there's a facilities tab that has four types of, uh, of facilities, <laughs> hence the title of the tab that you can pull up. So you have the hats shop, you have the drink shop, food, and toilets. And they repeat three times with different front-facing textures. So in this case, I think I'm going to choose this texture. I feel like it will it'll fit the, the theme of this corner of the map. In fact, this uh, sandstone on the floor will match perfectly. And uh, let's start with the hats shop. So this is really interesting, the way you build these uh, buildings. Uh, you can plop them here. Let's say this is probably a good enough location, I think. And then you get uh, this grid out of it, which means that anything that you put in here belongs to this uh, group. And you'll see here in a minute, if I go create a drink shop, so I'm going to put the drink shop over here, and then I'm going to put the foot shop, but I'm going to put it slightly away from these two. So right about here, I would say. If I click done, now all these three shops belong to a group. So if I click on one of them, if I can, there we go, perfect. I delete, uh, I have all three selected. I can move these three together. You can also undo, by the way, which is an amazing feature, uh, if I do say so myself. And uh, you can also duplicate it. So you can plop that in. And uh, eventually you're gonna be able to share groups of buildings, which is really cool with other players of the game. And uh, let me just go back into edit mode and add some walls to, to begin laying out uh, what this uh, sort of foot court will look like. Oh, by the way, we forgot uh, toilets. So let's put down the toilets first. I think toilets will be good. Uh, Probably, sure, let's just put it around here. Fantastic. Now, let's just put down some walls. Uh, definitely, these walls are the ones that will match the textures that we currently have. So it's as easy as just positioning them on the grid. You can also rotate these pieces, like so, and they will snap to, uh, to the grid, and they will stack on top of each other automatically. You can also control them by by holding shift. But in this case, I think we're not gonna use those. I also want this building to kind of go over this path. So, I mean, you can extend this building. I'm sure it has some sort of limit. I'm not that I'm not exactly sure if there is one, but uh, I wouldn't go too, too crazy with it. Uh, let me just uh, put down a few more walls and then uh, we'll resume in just a second. Okay, I ended up changing uh, the layout a little bit. Now we have the two drink and food shops on this side, the hats over here, and I put two toilets over yonder. Now, what I wanted to do is start adding a few details here and there. So let's just add a few archways here, connecting these, uh, these two semi-independent buildings. Actually, I want to keep these arches on the outside of these lines if I can. So I'll have to select this little arch and move it. There we go, perfect. And now it's all shaping up quite nicely. Another thing that I wanted to do is so somewhat integrate this uh, two buildings over the path. So I'm gonna choose this scaffolding. Uh, is this really scaffolding? No, it's just a wood frame. No worries. And uh, we're gonna put this here actually. There we go. So now it's all becoming somewhat integrated. I know these are in the middle of the path. I can change the path later if I wanted to, so it's no big deal. But let's start adding uh, some some roofs to these things. And uh, I think I'm going to select this uh, wood platforms. And you'll see in a minute what I have in mind because it's just, it's just gonna be amazing. We're gonna have this uh, wood frames all around. Now with a roof in place, let's just put down some, uh, some of these uh, wall tops. And I think uh, this, uh, it's, this is a bit over the top, but I think we can go the, with the small arches for our shops. And uh, let's just uh, have a wall, an edge go all around our, our little building here. I'm gonna keep this one a uh, two story stall, so I'm not gonna go, uh, I'm not gonna add these uh, walls all the way in there just yet. That's looking good. I mean, now we have uh, some walls on the upper floor that will sort of uh, guide us uh, with their different uh, rooms that 
we're gonna fake on top of this uh, of this um, of this construction. And let's just uh, let's see what else can we add here. I guess we can just put down the roofs for these uh, for these things as well. So I think I'm gonna go with these uh, tiles. They look pretty good. And uh, let's just start putting them. Uh, let's see. We can put a few. Actually, you know what? Let me just remove this one, and let's just do corners instead because this is a uh, small building. Rotate all these different pieces. Grab this one, rotate it a couple times. There we go. So we have one of the roofs. Let's add the uh, other roof over here. And finally, we can uh, complete the rest of the roof here as well. Actually, that was the wrong rotation. Now, in this case, we can uh, put down this uh, little uh, window at the very top if I can manage to rotate the camera. There we go. We can also bring this up because I'm not sure exactly what door I'm going to use over there, but uh, we can just uh, put this here and put that there and have all these uh, corners back in place. So it's all looking very, very nice. And voila, we have uh, we have our roofs too. So let's just add uh, a few more things. I want to take uh, some time off camera and uh, add a few more details and complete the, the layout a little bit. But uh, I'm sure you can get an idea where this is going. It's funny because I only spent a few minutes doing this. I didn't uh, in between the the previous cut and this one. I mean, not not a lot of time has passed, and look at how amazing this uh, building looks like. And not just because I designed it myself, but just seriously, the the the, the flexibility of this building system is just mind blowing. So, what I want to do next is uh, maybe add some uh, more decoration, some some uh, some touch of green here and there. Uh, and I was thinking of maybe putting uh, some of these flower pots on this uh, on this edges. Something like that, just to add a little bit more green to our construction. There we go. Let's see what else. Uh, we can put down uh, some of these uh, fruit stands over here. Actually, before I do any of that, let's just get some paths uh, going in between because uh, that will sort of outline uh, where everything is going to go. So if I can get uh, this going this way, can I get another path? immediately adjacent to it. Let me see if that's even possible. It won't let me do it. Okay. Which means that uh, we can indeed get this path right here in the middle. So I'm going to go connect it all the way up to this uh, connection if I can. Yeah, basically. So the way all these paths snap to each other is still kind of uh, not super polished. I really hope that they do indeed polish it. Uh, let me just connect this uh, remaining store over here. And uh, let's see, we also need to connect the bathroom. So let's just make a straight line over there and hopefully we can bring this together that way. And now that we're at it, let's just continue this path going into this direction and see if we can get a nice smooth curve to connect or as smooth as we can possibly can. That's not too bad. I like it. Uh, let's just add a few more decorations here, shall we? Let's just, uh, let's see, we, we can add, oh my God, there's so many things that we can add. Okay, so we were looking into adding this before. So let's uh, put this down uh, here, if we can rotate it. There we go. Something like this. You can also maybe put it here too. Uh, barrels for good measure, sure. That's all. Those are always needed in this uh, type of uh, environment. There we go. A few more down here for good measure. And uh, maybe somewhere around here. Uh, let's just uh, put down some uh, lanterns too. I think uh, I reserved this spot specifically for this uh, lanterns. That way we can have some uh, night lights illuminating this uh, courtyard. There we go. Fantastic, that is looking so nice. I am so happy right now. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? Um, we're gonna need some uh, some lamps. Uh, this looks amazing, so I'm gonna put this here just to alert everyone coming into this shops that you might end up being in a birdcage just hanging from a rope. This is a birdcage, right? Is not? Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. 
Um, before we do anything else, we actually need to mark this building. So it's a good idea to put signs for them. Uh, this is supposed to be on the floor, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe we can find a Cosmic Cow logo that will actually fit on the face of the building. So maybe, yeah, wall signs. This is what I was looking for. So I want a tiny sign, as tiny as I can get. This actually is a great spot. And uh, let's find the Chief Beef which should go right next to this. Let's see if this one's better. This one's a bit huge, I think. Actually, no, that's perfect. Now for my final trick, I'm gonna add some uh, some vegetation to this whole area. And uh, I think we can safely add a few of these trees here. Let's just rotate them so they look a little bit more random. Over here as well. These are huge trees, by the way, but uh, they look absolutely fantastic. We can have smaller ones too, right? Yes, perfect. So let's do a few clusters of this. So I let the game run for a few minutes and now we have uh, over 600 people just walking our, around our park. And as you can see here, this uh, nighttime shot of the build that we just created. I mean, there's a lot of people forming line here to, to get some milkshakes and some uh, burgers. But man, does this courtyard look amazing or what? I just love this little detail with the lanterns. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. They're just gorgeous. I'm, I'm loving this so much. And, and the potential for this game, I know I said this uh, probably a couple of times already in this, in this video, but it's just, uh, it's just mind blowing. There's so much that can be done. Right now, as it stands, there's no economy aspect of the game. So there's no money involved. There's, all the rides are pretty much free. The people don't spend any money. There's no maintenance costs of any kind. So if you want that kind of gameplay, you might want to hold off on getting your hands on early access. But uh, yeah. It's uh, it's definitely coming, and uh, I just couldn't be happier now. I one thing that I that I'm sure some of you will ask is, do you uh, are you gonna make a series out of this game? And the short answer is yes. Now, what I don't know is if I'm gonna start the series right away, given the fact that the game is somewhat limited. I might do a quick like I don't know like ten episode series, uh, recorded back to back or something like that, just to show off uh, more of what we currently have. But uh, then like a longer series, like my usual less designs might, uh, might take a little bit longer. And uh, you can be certain that I'm gonna stream uh, uh, this game a little bit. So if you wanna make sure to be notified when, when I do indeed stream the game, uh, just uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash strictoaster. And also you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash strictoaster. Go do that now. I can, I can wait and I can keep talking in the back uh, as you switch windows and, and follow me on both uh, of those websites. Those links are in the description of this video, by the way. And um, I mean, overall, I think this, this game is fantastic. It has some caveats. I know those uh, were, are gonna be likely be fixed. Uh, I really hope that they redesign the way paths work because I'm really not 100% happy with that. But it's not it's not the end of the world either. So it's all it's all uphill from now. And the fact that this game is in early early access and and it looks so polished and it feels so polished, I can only assume that it's only going to get better and better and it's just going to be amazing. So. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this uh, this uh, this episode so far. Uh, I haven't shown any roller coasters, but I'm sure at this point I'm running a B-roll of some uh, footage that I recorded. This, by the way, all the footage that you see on this video was recorded by myself in my computer, so it's not it's not like promotional materials of any kind. This is all generated by the by the this alpha version of the game. So uh, I'm sure you're looking at some uh, roller coaster shots and other rides as well. And uh, maybe maybe if I do start this uh, short series, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to build a roller coaster because I'm still getting the hang of it myself. So if you enjoyed this episode, I want to encourage you to click that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I tend to play games from a design perspective. I'm a designer, so I really, really pay attention to all the little details and, and things and I spend a crazy amounts of time sometimes uh, doing those kinds of things. So if that's uh, if that's something that you enjoy, please do hit that subscribe button, and uh, you'll be notified when more craziness uh, is released. So this was Planet Coaster. I really hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.